one of the videos I don't want to have to see. If you guys have been with the channel for longer than a couple months and you've seen some of our insect videos, a lot of those videos were trying to find other clips from them. Uh, I have um, correspondence going on with some other smaller filmmakers about insects to see um, what other insect videos we can get up on the channel for you guys. Um, but uh, are insects getting banned? The Tear Zoo, one of my personal favorite favorite builds uh, is, is anything from the insect kingdom. I think it is just fascinating. It is has such a large list of abilities you could choose from and it's something that uh, it has enough to fascinate the family. Even if it can be a little icky, I promise it's worth a gander if you haven't. So let's check out the video from uh, Tear Zoo and see if insects are indeed getting banned by his calculations. Uh, let me know when the next patch is coming early if you could. I would love to be a part of the beta testing. Anything to get involved in this, I'll do it. Bring. Oh. Oh. Even though no individual insect can claim the number one spot on the tier list over the human build, insects as a whole are easily the most successful build type in the history of the game. The average insect ranks much higher than the average mammal or bird, and this has been true even since before the devs added dinosaurs into the game. <laughs> Bruh. I plan to make many insect tier lists in the future, Please. but I'm making this video now because rumors have started to circulate about leaks that data miners have found concerning new unannounced balance changes to the insect class. Well, they were just talking about that bees were coming off the endangered list. There's a bunch of posts I saw about bees, you know, people, um, warning people about just clusters of bees like while they're migrating from spot to spot. But uh, yeah, I, I just have been out of it, man. Today I want to talk about the content of this discovery and its implications both for the insect player base and for the meta as a whole. Damn. Outside's community got understandably freaked out when data miners discovered a new hidden balance patch titled Insect Apocalypse. Are insects being banned? Are insects being nerfed? Is it all insects or only specific builds? Well, lucky for you guys, Tirzu is here to give you the scoop on the Insect Apocalypse balance patch Thanos, in its entirety. Bro. First things first, Damn. no, the Insect Apocalypse is not a universal balance change that affects all insect builds. Most of the nerfs, and buffs too, there are a few of those, Ooh. center around changes to the overworld itself, which directly affects insect mains. But anyways, let's discuss which insect builds are going to be most affected. Is that the Call of Duty music? Lit. There are two main groups affected, the first of which is the specialist builds. Many insect players have an extremely refined playstyle. Everything about their gameplay is highly specific. They eat only specific plants, prey upon specific players, and reproduce only in the exact right conditions. Sorry, I've played, I was addicted slightly to Call of Duty during high school, and uh, this is amazing. Naturally, these players are much more vulnerable to having their game plans disrupted. And, well, there's a lot of disruption going on. Uh... Because of that, many of these strategies are becoming unviable. Obviously, there are millions of potential examples, so I can't talk about everything. But one example most players will recognize is... The Monarch Monarchs butterfly. are highly selective in their early game XP sources. During their early game, they feed exclusively on milkweed, which makes sense because this grants them an important perk, poison. They can't exactly spec into a generalist build without sacrificing their only line of defense, so they're in a tough spot as milkweed becomes rarer in-game and gets cleared by humans to plant crops. What? The second type affected the worst are builds like mayflies, dragonflies, and stoneflies. These all share one thing in common. The first few levels of their playthrough are aquatic. They start out the game in a river, pond, or swamp, Ooh, and have to level up by hunting there before they reach the level where they unlock wings and leave their aquatic biome. The aquatic biome has become a lot tougher to survive in if you've got a sensitive respiratory system, as it's become increasingly toxic, mostly oh, due to runoff. From pollution Robust stuff. builds like catfish can tank the added pollutants just fine, Yeah. but fragile nymphs don't have that ability, and so builds that have to lay eggs in water are seeing a decline. Now for the builds that will do well. You'd probably guess that if specialists do poorly, generalist insects will do extremely well. Would do well. really good, yeah. And you'd be right. <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't expect generalist insects. Ants! Oh, I love ants! To experience much difficulty from this patch at all. Builds that aren't picky about their XP sources will still be able to find their way, and should see their player bases remain relatively stable. Builds like the Cabbage White Butterfly, a mm. generalist butterfly build, and the Ladybug, a generalist beetle build, are examples of great choices to survive the update. I think the white butterflies are what they call poop butterflies in the country because they're always around poop. Especially the ladybug because it's got a mild poison that deters birds. This poison doesn't require a specific diet like the monarchs does. 
And considering birds have a lot less potential targets now that many of the aquatic insects are falling out of the meta, this protection will be even more valuable. But there are some insects that have even been buffed in this patch. And these are the scavengers. Same perks as generalists, but also yeah, don't require okay, access to the shrinking meadow biomes that most insects depend on. In fact, most of these builds do better in cities. There are a few obvious examples that I'm sure you're well aware of. For example, cockroaches. Roaches have been skyrocketing up the tier list. Ever. What kind though? American, German, brown pan? Hit ever me since with they it. first Hit expanded out it. of their African home server back during the colonial meadow. But the insect buffed the most in this patch is the yellow jacket. Yellow jackets have really? been spiking in population lately due to milder winters and drier springs. And they're perfectly suited to human dominated environments such as cities and parks. That's true. Yellow jackets have great DPS, mobility, and defense for the. But they're dicks. They don't help the environment like at all. Besides, and function super effectively as generalists. They can also hunt pretty effectively from the air, and take on other players outside their own weight class solo, and take on players far outside their weight class in groups. Yeah. They can build their bases anywhere and love to eat the scraps other players leave behind. A trash-filled world is a paradise for yellow jackets, and considering how quickly landfill biomes are expanding, it's no surprise that they're growing in numbers too. A quick lightning round for some other insect builds. Grasshoppers. Their respawn point, the meadow, is becoming more scarce as farmland biomes replace them. But in most places, their populations are doing fine. Although in America, the variant that had the swarm ability actually got banned. The locust. Yeah, they they actually uh, put it became a pest uh, insect, so pest control technicians are able to take those out. And grasshoppers actually in some places in Vegas, some of our older, probably probably places that need a little bit more help. Uh, they're living in the walls of some houses here in Vegas. Crazy. Mantises are not picky when it comes to what they'll catch. While they're still nerfed by the reduction in forest biomes, mantises, along with spiders, are still the most effective stealth build for that weight class. Their success depends on how badly the nerfs affect the number of other flying insects that they come across. Since many of these insects are part of the category hit by aquatic nerfs, they could potentially be in trouble, but certainly not doomsday levels. Honey Honeybees are dealing with their own set of nerfs called Colony Collapse Disorder. This is a separate thing from the insect apocalypse, so we aren't going to go into too much detail. Other types of bees, wasps, and hornets are generally doing alright, although the other bee builds in particular are actually being shut out a bit by the invasive honeybees. Plenty of non-arthropod builds will become less viable with fewer insect players around. The two main groups affected are the fish and the birds. Fish have a pretty easy matchup against aquatic insects especially the ones which leave the water once they're in their most powerful final form. That was pretty dope. So without as many of these players around, fish will need to find another source of easy XP. A similar thing can be said about birds. Many birds rely on flying insect mains as an easy source of XP too, although birds generally have a lot more options besides insects. Pollinators are some of the most heavily affected, so the human player base is also potentially in trouble because of their reliance on pollinated crops. However, many of the humans' crops, like corn, are pollinated by wind, so I wouldn't get too worried if you're nope. remaining human right now. Anyways, overall, I don't think the Insect Apocalypse balance patch is as bad as people initially thought. Insect builds are among the most adaptable and versatile in the game, and because of their extremely quick respawn time, they are able to come up with counter strategies relatively quickly. In addition, these nerfs are mostly just due to resources becoming more limited. The climate change balance patch has very little to do with the Insect Apocalypse, and honestly, if the human player base really wanted to, they are powerful enough to reverse it. Planting native plants is basically all that needs to be done in order to reverse the effects. And like I said, insects respond so quickly that they'll easily bounce right back if the right conditions exist. Yep. So there's plenty of reason That's to have hope true. in this case. By the way, I got a lot of the footage in this video from some extremely talented wildlife photographers. I really respect the work that they do, and I hope to be able to reach the same quality myself someday. Yo, let's go check out some of the places he got the photographer from. The Dragonfly Nymph. Wow. Wow, that's so funny. I, you know, and I talked about it at the beginning of the video, and it's so funny that he's saying like the same thing about finding wildlife footage, and he's actually contacted some other people, which I had no idea existed. So let's, it's time to write some more goddamn emails, Chavez Slovakia. This was a great video. Um, it points out a lot of things. So I was talking about, um, I want to bring up manual pollination. A lot of, a lot of people have thought of um, manual pollination as a solution to a lot of these problems that we're having. 
uh, with the plants, but they don't necessarily want the insect population to grow, right? A lot of people want to still limit that. So I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. Crocs, 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 Crocs. Crocs, 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 Crocs. I'm rocking Crocs. I'm rocking Crocs. I'm rocking Crocs. Wearing Crocs, boy. I'm rocking Crocs. I'm rocking Crocs. I'm rocking Crocs. Wearing Crocs, boy. My Crocs are gold. My pops is old. My Crocs got soul. My Crocs are bold. I go to church wearing Crocs. I'm always turned wearing Crocs. My Crocs are great. Your Crocs are lame. With my Crocs, I can cross a lake. Crocs, 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 Crocs. Crocs, 